am Mrs. DK, and this is Loud the Lion. Loud wanted to be with us today because he also likes to read, write, roar. Yes, and Loud is going to help us today with contractions. Can you say contractions? Man, that's a big word. Yes, contractions are made up of two words, and we squeeze those words together, and out goes some letters, usually one or more. Can you do that with me? Out goes the letters, and then we're going to go boop, in goes the apostrophe. Contractions are all around us. We see them in the books we read all the time, and we also use them in our daily talk. So as you're talking, you're going to have to start listening and say, oh, I'm using contractions. Absolutely. All right, loud. Are you ready? I think our scholars are ready too. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to put the first pair together. The words are do not. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, here comes loud. Whoa! He wore that O away. Let's put those sounds together. And we have to boop, put that apostrophe in that O's place. Because remember, when the letter goes out, the apostrophe goes in. Let's look at our new word. Our new word is don't. Can you say that? Don't. Nice job, scholars. Yeah, that means the same thing as do not. Do not do that. Don't do that. All right, scholars, let's go to our second pair. We have can not. Hmm. Loud, are you ready to get rid of some of those letters? Yeah, when we put can and not together, can already ends with the N, so we're not going to need that extra N in the second word of not. So when he roars, he might roar just a little bit louder to get rid of the N and the O. You ready? Go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> we got rid of both of those letters. And then we're just going to move it closer. All right, scholars. Can and not, when we move those letters out, mm -hmm, we're going to boop, put that apostrophe in its place and move the rest of the letters closer, right? And we have the word can't. Yes, can and not is the same thing as saying can't. Like, I cannot do that. I can't do that. <laughs> You're doing great, scholars. All right, I have a longer word for you, but I know you've seen it before or used it before. The pair is should not. I know you've heard that, right? You should not be doing that. Oh, but loud, he's going to get rid of that O for us. <laughs> nice job, loud. And then remember, we need to move it closer. So as we squeeze them closer, that O, we got rid of that O, so we need to boop, put the apostrophe in. And now our new word is shouldn't. Yeah, if someone says you should not be doing that, they can say you shouldn't be doing that. Can you say that word again? Shouldn't. Nice job, scholars. All right, one more. And our pair is could not. Hmm. Loud, we're ready. <laughs> nice job, loud, getting rid of that O. So, loud, wore that O away. And then what do we need to put in its place? You're right. We need to go, boop, put that apostrophe there. And now our new word is couldn't. So if you could not do something, you couldn't do it. Nice work, scholars. What's that, Loud? <sighs> loud says that he wants to practice writing these words. Do you want to practice with loud? Awesome. Scholars, you're ready? All right. Remember, loud likes to read, write, and roar. Right? I hope you do too. So we are going to read these sentences. 
then we're going to have to think for a minute and say, what two words in this sentence are a pair that make a contraction word? You're right. That second word is still going to be the word not. That's going to be a big clue for you as we read. Yep, when you see that word not, you know that other word next to it is probably going to be its pair. And we're going to put those words together. All right. Remember, when we put them together, you are going to try to write the contraction word on your paper. Let me go over what that apostrophe looks like again. Uh-huh, looks just like that comma, but remember it goes at the top of your letters and it goes inside your word. Wherever you move those letters out of, that's where the boop, apostrophe needs to go. All right, scholars, let's get ready. Go ahead and write number one on your paper. Let's read this one. She did not want to go to sleep. What two words are going to make our contraction? She did not want to go to sleep. You're right. <laughs> did and not are our pair of words. Go ahead and try to write that on your paper. As a contraction word, of course. Loud says, don't forget to war that O out of there. And boop, put that apostrophe in. All right, let's check your work, scholars. Is this what your word looks like? Didn't. Nice job. You see where that O used to be is where it got worn out, and we boop, put the apostrophe in its place. And then we just squeeze everything together, right? Because it's one word now. Yeah, let's reread that sentence with our contraction there. She didn't want to go to sleep. Awesome job. Number two, scholars, go ahead and write number two on your paper. Let's read it. They could not go in the store because they forgot their masks. Oh, no. You got to have your mask too on the store. Which two words are we going to put together to make a contraction word? Listen again. They could not go in the store because they forgot their masks. I heard it. You heard it too loud? Yes, it is could and not. All right, you'll see those pop up. Go ahead and try. Try to roar that O out of there and boop, put that apostrophe in. And remember, squeeze it all together because it's one word now. All right, scholars, let's check it out. Does your word look like this? The word is couldn't. Couldn't is the same as could not. Let's reread our sentence with our contraction word. They couldn't go in the store because they forgot their masks. <laughs> You're doing awesome. Yes, number three, scholars, write number three down. Let's read it. You should not talk with your mouth full of food. Loud says he does that all the time. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing that loud. I think I just used a contraction word. Did you figure out what to make the pair? Should and not. Absolutely, scholars. Go ahead, ward that O out of there, and boop, put that apostrophe in its place. Remember to write it all together because it is one word. Let's check your work, scholars. Does your word look like this without the O in the word not? and our apostrophe in its place, our word becomes shouldn't. Let's reread our sentence. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full of food. Do you hear that loud? <laughs> Needs to get some manners, huh? Number four. All right, let's read it. Do not go to bed without brushing your teeth. Ooh, very important rule there. 
Did you find the pair? What two words are making our contraction word? Do and not. Nice job. All right, scholars. Let's wore that O out of there. And boop, put that apostrophe in its place. Don't forget to squeeze it close. All right, let's check your work. Here is the word don't. Yeah, we make do and that, and we made the word don't. If you notice, my word don't has a capital letter because it's going at the beginning of a sentence. Yeah, so it couldn't be lowercase like the rest of them. Let's reread our sentence. Don't go to bed without brushing your teeth. <laughs> All right, last one, scholars. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Let's read it. My mom said that I cannot go outside until I finish my homework. Oh. Did you happen to hear the pair? That was a long sentence. I'm going to read it again. See if you can find the pair that makes the contraction word. My mom said that I cannot go outside until I finish my homework. You heard it that time? Absolutely. It is the can and the not. All right. Go ahead and, oh, here's our one where we have to do extra loud war, isn't it? Yes, loud said, remember to war extra loud because you need to get that in and that O out of there. And then we're going to boop, put that apostrophe in. Go ahead and write it down. Let's check it out, scholars. Yes, and our contraction word is the word can't. Can and not is the same as saying can't. Let's reread our sentence with our contraction word there. My mom said that I can't go outside until I finish my homework. I'm sure all of you would finish your homework, huh, scholars? Absolutely. Well, you know what? We've practiced reading, writing, and warring contraction words today. I want you to continue practicing adding the word not to other words. See if you can war that O, maybe sometimes that N, out of there and boop, put that apostrophe in its place. What contraction words can you come up with? This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.